coal. Introduction We use various materials for our basic needs. Some of them are found in nature and some have been made by human efforts. This list includes air, water, soil and minerals. Since all these are obtained from nature, they are called natural resources. In the light of the availability of various resources in nature, natural resources can be broadly classified into inexhaustible and exhaustible resources. Natural Resources Inexhaustible Natural Resources These resources are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhausted that are sunlight, air. Exhaustible Natural Resources The amount of these resources in nature is limited. They can be exhausted by human activities. Examples of these resources are forests, wildlife, minerals, coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Fossil fuels Some exhaustible natural resources like coal, petroleum and natural gas were formed from the dead remains of living organisms known as fossil fuels. About 300 million years ago, the earth had dense forests in low-lying wetland areas. Due to natural processes like flooding, these forests got deposited over them. They were compressed. The temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper. Under high temperature, dead plants got slowly converted to coal. The slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Since it was formed from the remains of vegetation, coal is also called a fossil fuel. Coal Story of Coal About 300 million years ago, the earth had dense forests in low-lying wetland areas. Due to natural processes, like flooding, these forests got buried under the soil. As more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. The temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper. Under high pressure and high temperature, dead plants got slowly converted to coal. As coal contains mainly carbon, the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Since it was formed from the remains of vegetation, coal is also called a fossil fuel. Coal is one of the fuels used to cook food. Earlier, it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run the engine. It is also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity. Coal is also used as a fuel in various industries. When heated in air, coal burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas. Coal is processed in industry to get some useful products such as coke, coal tar, and coal gas. Coke It is a tough, porous and black substance. It is an almost pure form of carbon. Coke is used in the manufacture of steel and in the extraction of many metals. Coal tar It is a black, thick liquid with an unpleasant smell. It is a mixture of about 200 substances. Products obtained from coal tar are used as starting materials for manufacturing various substances used in everyday life and in industry like synthetic dyes, drugs, explosives, perfumes, plastics, paints, photographic materials, roofing materials, etc. Interestingly, naphthalene balls used to repel moths and other insects are also obtained from coal tar. These days, bitumen, a petroleum product, is used in place of coal tar for metalling the roads. It is a tough, porous and black substance. It is almost pure form of carbon. Coke is used in the manufacture of steel and in the extraction of many metals. Coal gas Coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get coke. 
It is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing plants. Petroleum. Petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource called petroleum. Petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea. As these organisms died, their bodies settled at the bottom of the sea and clay. Over millions of years, absence of air, high temperature and high pressure transformed the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas. Refining of Petroleum Petroleum is a dark, oily liquid. It has an unpleasant odor. It is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, etc. The process of separating the various constituents or fractions of petroleum is known as refining. It is carried out in a petroleum refinery. Petroleum constituents Various constituents of petroleum and their uses are given in the table. Natural gas Natural gas is a very important fossil fuel. Natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas, CNG. CNG is used for power generation. It is now being used as a fuel for transport vehicles because it is less polluting. It is a cleaner fuel. The great advantage of CNG is that it can be used directly for burning in homes and factories where it can be supplied through pipes. Such a network of pipelines exists in Vadodara, Gujarat, some parts of Delhi and other places. Natural gas is also used as a starting material for the manufacture of a number of chemicals and fertilizers. India has vast reserves of natural gas. In our country, natural gas has been found in Tripura, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and in the Krishna Godavari Delta. Fuel Management The Petroleum Conservation Research Association, PCRA, advises people how to save petrol or diesel while driving. Their tips are as follows. Drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible. Switch off the engine at traffic lights or at a place where you have to wait. Ensure correct tire pressure. Ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle.